up everybody Ranger 79 here and I'll do a tutorial video on how to install reshade with real light version 5 preset so first thing we're going to do is download two packages and do a couple modifications and we're done so follow with me and I'll put the links in the description first site you want to go to is reshade.me scroll to the bottom here we're going to be looking at sweet fx 2.0 running on reshade okay Um, this is going to work. This is what I use so to make the mod work. So you can use what you want. This works for me and it's worked for two other people, three other people I've uh, shown. So just follow along and uh, here we go. We're going to download it. Alright, so we got that downloaded. We're going to open it up. It's actually, in my downloads folder. Right here, you can extract it. All right, so we have a couple options here. Okay, what we're gonna do um, is go to reshape, and you see a pop up here. Okay, I was running as administrator. You're gonna, you're gonna go select game and find your Armor 3 root directory and go to your Armor 3 exe. And it's going to open. Now when it opens, it might crash your game for a second. It's installing a couple files. Don't worry. Go through it real quick. Alright. Now let me see. I'll go back to my Armor 3 folder and see if I install them. Alright. Good. I don't... You don't have to push run if you don't want to. Okay? Because it says success right here. Okay? So, I'm not even going to run it. But if you truly run on accident, you might get a crash at first. It's fine. What it did, it installed SweetFX. Real important, DX, Reshade FX, um, Sweet FX here. And we should be good to go right now. Okay, so we got this base, this base installed. So what we're going to do now is install another uh, pack. This is a, the, the um, Bohemian Actual Forums, um, Real Light version 5 Reshade preset. Put the link in the description. I'm going to go to post 9. The author is Solano. It's awesome. Post 9. Click here. Alright, unzip these files. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're not going to actually install um, anything, these top three reshade uh, folders, VFX or DXG, I already have those, they're all outdated. Reshade, I don't really have it, um, it's it's not, it's in the uh, package, but it's not pronounced, but we're going to use, and I'll show you why, what I'm talking about in a second. You're going to get key codes, and all the way down to SweetFX settings, we're going to copy these files, we're going to paste them into our Arma 3 directory. So root directory. I'm gonna overwrite a couple files probably. Yes. You wanna So all we did is take his settings and we uh we uh put them in. Now what I'm gonna do close all this out. Alright, now to to change a couple of things. For me it was way too bright and I want a little more color, so we're gonna change a couple of things, okay? Now I have my settings saved in this other reshade over here. But we're going to go into Armor 3 directory and go to SweetFX, or sorry, Reshade.FX. I'm going to open it with Notepad++. If you don't have that program, Notepad++, I recommend you download it. It'll help with the coding and with the line numbers for uh, changes we're going to make. Alright, I'm going to edit with Notepad++. Alright. Um... It'll probably start up top. We're going to go to around 235-ish line number here. All right. What I like to do is the color. Look for, I think it's two. All right. Right here, line 263. Define DPX saturation. We're going to put that at 2.25. 
Just a little more color. I'll save. We're going to go to 276 exposure and put that at 0 0.350. Sorry about that. And save. Now, if you want, now in game, you can, op you can open and close this program, turn it off and on by changing uh, by a keystroke. Now, what I have set for mine, right now it's set, this is a zero times nine one. You're like, what the hell is that? That's actually scroll lock. What you do is go back into your Armor 3 directory and you have a key codes file. We copy and paste. You open that up and it gives you, for example, the right mouse button is O, X, O, 2. So we're going to look for, I'm going to use F24 as my uh, toggle on off the program key. So I'll go back and we're at line number 4019. Just going to copy and paste this right here and save. Now we're all set. Should be able to launch the game and uh, go from there. So. Close this out and I'll launch the game and I'll show you what's, what's next. It should uh, load successfully and I'll show you just kind of before and after. All right, I'm back on my shitty microphone from uh, Astro. <laughs> so what we'll do now is we will open up Armor 3. So I just installed it like I installed it fresh, guys. So I, I took all my shit out. So this is, this is how it should work. If you first try to start Armor 3 and it bogs down or it doesn't work, try to restart it again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go and make sure battle eye is off. You can use it if you want on. It should work, but I don't use battle eye um, for our uh, server because it's not required, and I don't like having extra shit running in the background. Uh, I have my mods on, so we're good there. Let's try to play. Oh, also, if I didn't mention, make sure your Armor3.exe go there real quick is set to administrator. Um, it's a big deal. A lot of add-ons and a lot of mods. And how you do that is go to armor3.exe, right-click, properties, compatibility, and right here, uh, run this program as administrator. Apply, OK. You can change it for all settings for all people, users. Run this, yes. Apply, OK. You're set. OK. So now let's go ahead and launch the game. Turn off fraps. Give it a second. Now what's going to happen is when the game launches in the left hand top corner you're going to see reshade version whatever 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 successfully um, or processing effects successful or whatever. So. Oh, there we go. File effects succeeded. Like I said I turned the brightness down one notch and the uh, color saturation up a little bit. So that's my personal settings. Everyone's monitor is different. So do what you need to do. You notice the green's already looking better. All right. So this, this for example, let's just turn off and on. Off. You know, a little bit of gray. It's just kind of dreary. On. Okay. Let's go to a default map here. Now also, after we're done with this, I'll show you how to uninstall. Oh, it's loud. Okay. I'll show you how to uninstall if you don't want it. Alright, so it's on right now. And off. On. Off. There we go. Look how good this looks. Off. On. All right. We're gonna show you how to uninstall it. If you don't like it, it's fine. I'll show you. You just gotta delete a couple files and you're done. Okay. We'll go back to our directory. All right. The files you're gonna delete to get rid of this. Read effects folder. DXGI.dll, this little text file, doesn't really matter, but take them out. The key codes, reshade.fx, reshade settings, sweet effects, sweet effects readme, preset settings.
You delete all those files, you're done. It's, it's uninstalled. So it's that simple, guys. So if you enjoy this video, if it helps you out, link it, share it with people. Uh, let's get armor looking beautiful. I love it. Had no problems running all these mods here, no issues at all. So there you have it. Um, give uh, I guess it's Solano some love for making this uh, this preset. All right, guys, Ranger Seven Nine checking out.